What is up guys? Jake here with an update video on our Rival Kingdom situation. Uh, obviously you guys know that the the first one got just filled up, the first kingdom just filled up instantly uh, and it's still full and we are working hard to get more spots in there. But it became apparent very early on that we needed a second clan or a second kingdom, which we did. You'll see it right up there. Uh, one, oops, sorry. Let's go to the kingdom here. Uh, it's Jen. Osis, I guess it's sort of a play on words. Some of the guys thought it was funny, so that's what we did. Jen O H S I S, so like a sister kingdom. So we got the one hive in there and the Genesis thing from one hive. So uh, uh, look for that. Obviously, it's full already. It was full instantly too. Uh, you know, I did tell a few people in the comments that had trouble getting into the first one that it was up, and so it filled up very quickly. But again, working hard to get uh, more spaces. Talking of more spaces, I don't know if I've shown this or not. You see it's 25 or 25, but right there, we're 132, now 133 uh, donations uh, into 240 to get five more spots, and that'll keep growing. Make sure in your kingdoms, guys, that if you're not in, in mine, or if you are in, in, in ours, uh, donate to all of these. You see that little exclamation, uh, red exclamation there? You want to donate to these as often as possible. You see the cooldown right there is only three hours. So, you know, a couple times a day, get on, uh, get your donations in. There's several spots that you see that you go around. It's not expensive. Uh, even at, you know, Stronghold 4 or 5, it's just a, a good uh, rate or two. It's not a lot of money. Uh, so go ahead and support the kingdom. Get a, a chance to have more people in, in the kingdom and do bigger wars. Speaking of wars, uh, our first one was just absolute massacre. Uh, you see there that a lot of our guys went all the way through. Let's see where we're at here. We got a few that's still still working, uh, not all the way through yet. Sorry about not having notifications off there, guys. Uh, they pretty much are not participating. You know, they've got a few guys trying that went a little ways, but they only have like eight um, eight members, and so there's only eight bases to hit. So I guess that's how the game works. If uh, if you match up with someone that's a lot different than you. Number-wise, only that many bases will, will go, and only that many of your attacks will count. You see it sort of grays out right here. Obviously, we had more than eight guys get all the way through, uh, but it sort of grays out. Their score just don't count. You know, I guess it's going to be your best eight scores versus their best eight scores, and theirs right now are way lower than ours. But good job to everybody. You see that almost. Look at this. Look at that. All but everybody but Hummer, and he's not even done yet, so he might get all the way through too. So absolutely killed it. Good job to everybody in the feeder clan. Uh, in Fader Kingdom, I keep calling it the clan. The, the system of doing recaps on this, I don't know how it's going to work out, guys. The, the replays are like, you, you only get to pick one, you know, and the, one of them says it was already gone. There was no replay available. Uh, I, I want to try to get in touch with somebody from uh, Rival Kingdoms and let them know that that's a, that's a big thing for us YouTubers, to teach people, to, uh, to show them different things. We need those replays. And hopefully they'll implement something to help us out with that. Uh, but in the meantime, let's do a few battles. I am going to try to upgrade. Uh, I did get my Mauler. Uh, I have not actually changed my troops yet, but I will here to show you guys that new troop. The Mauler is the, uh, he's the, I don't know what you'd call him, the giant of, of Rival Kingdoms. He does target defensive buildings, and he does... Um, you know, go straight towards that. It has, it has a lot more HP than other things. Uh, he also sort of combines, I'll show you in a minute when I get back to it, I forgot to mention it, he does extra damage to walls. So it's kind of strange that he's kind of like a wall breaker uh, giant, you know, type of thing. So it's a pretty cool troop. Uh, you will want to use it some. Uh, mine needs to be upgraded. You know, I've just now got them, so they're not even leveled up. Uh, that will need to happen. But still, good troop to have. Uh, it will help in wars and some different things like that. Uh, let's see. Got that one done. What, what are we on here as far as the win streak of one? Last one I lost. That's great. Uh, we'll do a couple more here real quickly. Um, in wars or in, when you're farming, guys, what I've noticed is a big uh, a big thing is is the mana. Is the uh, And I use my dragon almost every attack just to pick off a uh, free troop uh, barracks. You know, a troop portal like this right here. I'll just drop my dragon there, fast forward, grab it. Because really, I think the game needs tweaked a little bit. Even on close, like watch this. If I, if I fly him over here, I think that dragon will be out of range right here. Look at that. That's not good. That this 
they need to expand it. And that wizard tower is just in range, but this uh, this archer tower over there is not in range. You can pick off so much with that dragon, especially these uh, those troop portals, which give you all that extra mana and stuff. It makes a big difference, especially in wars. Uh, some people will even put them on the outside, way on the outside. Don't do that. You can just use your dragon to, uh, or someone can just use their dragon to just fly around Pick those off, get all that free uh, mana, get built up, use some of their huge abilities right out of the gates, and it's not—it's just not good for you. So don't do that. Uh, keep it keep it to where the defenses are. You're trying to stop the defenses uh, from letting those free build. They don't have any free buildings if you can keep from it. It's hard to right now. I think the ranges of some of the defenses need to be expanded just a little bit wider. A few more a few more tiles. I think would be a little bit more fair. We'll see if that change comes or not, but right now you can take advantage of it and uh, use that dragon to pick off a few extra things. Get that mana, use those big abilities, eliminate um, you know, eliminate uh, defensive buildings or buff your, your troops that you've got going, whatever you want to do there. Uh, so all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. I'm going to continue to try to get uh, a little more gold. Oops, hold on, I might have enough gold if I use that. A little more gold to upgrade my blacksmith so I can upgrade a few more things. Uh, go into my inventory there. Where are we at? 21 now? I think it's 25. Let's see. Yep, 25 to upgrade my blacksmith. So a few more raids, I'll have it. Uh, I'll get that upgraded to get my troops upgraded a little bit more. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you uh, keep an eye out uh, for Genosis. Uh, make sure that it, you know there's going to be some spots opening up. People that don't perform, people that don't do their attacks, or people that... Uh, when we just get extra spots, there's going to be there. So try to get in if you can. And uh, good luck to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.